Welcome to Talladega Super Speedway for the finale of the round of 12. Four drivers will find out at the end of the race that they will not be able to contend for the championship. Let's see some storylines for these drivers in this race. Ryan Reed starts on the pole. He is filling in for Ricky Stonehouse Jr. He is good at restrictor plate tracks. So, could he play a spoiler and win? Kyle Busch starts third. He is 18 points above the cut line. So, as long as he doesn't get involved in Rex, he, he's pretty good. Since he can't even start fifth and is five points below the cut line. But he's, so he will need a very strong run, probably a top five, to make, to be able to make the round of eight. Kurt Busch starts sixth. He's 12 points to the good, so he just needs a top ten. He should be, and he should be good. Brad Keselowski starts seventh, but. He is 12 points below the cut lines. So he's going to need a very strong run today. But then again, Brad Keselowski and Simi or Joey Logano, Spencey cars, they have shown a lot of speed at restrictor plate tracks. Jimmy Johnson starts eighth. He is also five points below the cut line. So he's going to need a strong run as well. Danny Hamlin starts ninth. He is six points below the cut line, so he's also going to need a strong run today. Carson's only six points to the good, so he will need a pretty good run. But if he gets involved in a wreck, this will be an early one. His chances are at a championship could very well be over. Kyle Edwards starts 11th, but he's not have to worry. He won at Do. Leonard Jr. is 12 points to the good, but he is also the Talladega King. And I believe eight wins at this track, so it so he just needs to do his stuff here, and he should be good. Matt Kenseth won last week. Could he go back to back and get some more playoff points? He's already into the round of eight. He knows that for sure. No pressure on the 20 car. He's only just five points to the good. So he starts 16. So he's he's gonna need to climb some positions if he want and avoid the wrecks if he wants to win this thing. Andrew Jr. the lane star. Chase turned 18th, but he is 33. Yes, 33 points to the good. So he's basically locked in on on points. There's a very low chance. Of not him not a kid, but then he has to like finish last and have Chase Ellie like, dominate and Brad Kozlowski in the race. Now let's go to track side for the command. Drivers, start your engine! Here's our starting lineup for today's race. In row one, we have Ryan Reed capturing his first career pole, and Jamie McMurray. And then in row two, we'll have Kyle Busch and Eric Omarola. In row three, we have two chasers, Casey Kane and Kurt Busch. And in row number four, we'll have Brad Keselowski and Jimmy Johnson, two chasers. In row 5, we have two more chasers, Denny Hamlin and Kyle Larson. In row number 6, we'll have two more chasers, Carl Edwards and Dylan Jr., the Talladega King. In row 7, we have Kevin Harvick and Matt Kenseth, who won the last race. In row 8, we have Ryan Newman and Chase Elliott. In row 9, we have Joey Logano and Martin Truex Jr. 
Yeah, you know, out to field today we have Austin Dillon and Ryan Blaney. Here's our race info for today's race. Stage points are going to be awarded on laps 3 and 6 of 10. Pit one knows 4 of 6 laps. This is the final race of the round as well. Ryan Reed's on the pole and avoid the wrecks. The green flag is out. Ryan Reed leads him down. As Jamie McMurray's in second. Kyle Busch. Here comes McMurray on the high line trying to make the pass. But Reed looking strong. Here, Kyle Busch trying to get around him. Here comes Kyle Busch on the high line. Here comes Jamie McMurray on the bottom. Jamie McMurray to the lead. Ryan Reed in second, and there's a wreck. Oh, Kyle Larson drives over two cars, and the caution is out. Deer on lap three. For a bunch of drivers. Ryan Blaney. Huge implica chase implications for Kyle Larson, who went upside down. Carl Edwards. Kurt Bush. Chaser. I don't know how this is going to affect him. Um, Kevin Harvick. And Casey King. Joey Logano. Eric Almarola. And Jimmy Johnson. Nine cars involved. Let's take a look at the replay. It looks like Kurt Busch went on the apron and then went up. It Carvick Edwards Larson just drove over those two cars and Blaney just went right in. Kendrick avoided it barely. And the red flag has been displayed. Here are stage one results. Jimmy McMurray gets six points. Right. He wins his first stage. Ryan Reed. Second. Kozlowski. Hamlet. And Kyle Busch. He's got some important points for... That could help him. The race off of Pit Road is won by Matt Kenseth, but he took fuel only. Yep, he took fuel only. So, he wants to try to win this stage. The green flag is out as Matt Kenseth leads. She block, comes down the block, Hamlet. Can he win the stage and get another playoff point? Yes, he can. And around he goes. He's into Hamlin. Dylan involved as well. And Kozlowski will be out of the race too. And the caution comes out for Austin Dillon. He's having a pretty good day. Even though he started like 19. Denny Hamlin. We'll see. We'll find out how that puts him up on the chase grid. Matt Kenseth. But remember he does not have to worry. He won. The last race at Lego and Brad Keselowski. And he came in 13 points below the cut line. So I do not think he will be able to advance to the round of 8. And yeah, he just blew a tire. And then Hamlin just had nowhere to go. Same thing with Dylan. And Hamlin just went up the track. Keselowski had nowhere to go. The green flag is out with two laps to go. Ryan Reed comes up to block Truex. Truex nudges him, but Ryan Reed holds the lead. Here comes Chase Elliott. Martin Truex Jr. now back into the picture. Dylan Hart Jr. side by side. Here comes Ryan Newman. Who won this race? That was close. And it looks like Ryan Reed wins by just a little bit. He burned it down. Didn't have any smoke at the moment, so I couldn't do it. And here's our race results. But congratulations to A and A Detectives. Their victory, as you see, most of these, all of these except for Kyle Busch, involved with Rex. So there were only seven cars who finished the race. It's insane. And here is our ch final chase grade. Kyle Larson for. His the round of 12. Kyle Larson, Brad Keselowski, Casey Gain, and Jimmy Johnson are eliminated. The next race will be at Duria.